Oh, football fans, I hope you had a good Christmas. I know one group of fans who had a good Christmas. The Detroit Lions fans, congratulations. They're doing 30 years worth of celebrating right now. Um, yeah, they did it. They All they had to do was beat the Vikings, and it was done. Intercepting Nick Mullins four times in the game on four interceptions a game later. But... Yeah, congratulations, Detroit. I mean, you guys really, really deserve it. I'm so happy for them. Yes, I'm a fan of a division rival. But come on. Come on. This is the Lions. They've had, they've had a lot of hardship uh, against them. They've had a lot of hardship against them in the three decades that passed. We all know what happened in 08. We're not going to mention it. And the thing is, it hasn't been that long since their last playoff appearance. It's been, it had only been, what, seven years. That's not really long, but it's just a bit of a, it just had a lot of shit go against them. But um, they did it. They, act, they they finally did it. They uh, they won a division, and they have, they have a home playoff game just waiting for them. We don't know who they're playing. Um, Minnesota's loss helped us out because uh, we beat we beat Carolina. It wasn't easy, but we did, and we um and the Rams beat the Saints, so that helped. Uh, the Falcons won, unfortunately, that didn't help matters. And I watched that they were playing. They, they beat the Colts, and I'm going, and I'm going. Pittsburgh actually lost this team. How? So you know Pittsburgh, they actually beat that. They beat down the Bengals. They needed it. They really needed it. Because, well, they, they, they faced being screwed if they lost. Plus, you know, they want to keep that winning record streak alive. Now the one went away from that. But, yeah, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's kept hope alive now. I mentioned four interceptions in one game. At least when Nick Mo at least when Nick Mullins does it, there's an excuse. He's a backup. He's not really that good anyway. He's not expected to do anything. <laughs> Let's talk about Brock Purdy, shall we? So some people this was a few days ago, a few days from week sixteen began. Some people actually had the temerity to say Brock Purdy should be in the MVP conversation. You believe that? Imagine hating black quarterbacks so much that you would put Brock Purdy in the MVP conversation. That quarterback is terrible. I've said for I've said since October, well actually a little before that, but I've really said since October that he sucks. I mean the man lost to Cleveland and Minnesota. He's a natural born fuck up. But they want to put him over Lamar Jackson and ignore the fact that Lamar is basically carrying the Ravens on his back again. While Purdy has the luxury of being carried by Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, and to some extent, uh, George Kittle. He has a damn championship team around him. But let's make him the MVP. Yeah, sure. Ugh. I mean, it's, 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 it's the equivalent... It's the equivalent of a qualif a highly a hard working qualified uh, black applicant being passed over by some white guy with no experience but has but has connections. His uncle's the higher up or something. That's what this is. Yet the ultimate karma happened on the perfect day, Christmas Day, as we saw Lamar Jackson play flawlessly as usual, while Brock Purdy. <laughs> Let me put it this way: Brock Purdy made, made um, <laughs> Brock Purdy made Jay Cutler look like Aaron Rodgers out there. He was awful. He threw four picks before the fourth quarter started. Sam Darnold entered in relief and did better than him. I uh, I was one of many laughing my ass off at this because the the Forty Niners as a whole were frauds anyway. You know, and here they are at home on Christmas Day with everybody, with people putting Brock Purdy on a pedestal, even though he shouldn't be on it. And Purdy, and Purdy just fizzles out. He fizzled. He completely fizzled. 
So it's safe to say Brock is eliminated from the MVP race. That 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 MVP that MVP is basically Lamar's to lose. Though, really, if you think about it, the top, the the top two, if you go we'll go by quarterbacks, the top two candidates for MVP are Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, with Jalen Hurts a close third. Some people want to give it to CMC. I I have no problem with that because he's because because he, that's a forty nine that's actually doing something, you know. Uh, CMC, he's one of my fancy MVPs. I made sure to draft him first. But yeah, um, him, but well, I haven't heard Debo. More likely going to be CMC. Cause <laughs> more likely going to be CMC because what he's doing this year is just crazy this year. But if it's not going to be a quarterback, it probably will be McCaffrey. But if they're going to give the MVP to a quarterback, it should be either Lamar or Dak. Or probably Hurts. Speed of Hurts, he got a big win against the Giants on Christmas Day. But Christmas Day started with the Chiefs. Oh, boy. So, this was not a good Christmas for the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-mm. Um, they, <laughs> They're in trouble. They are. They are in deep trouble. There's a good chance they could miss the playoffs. I'm not saying they are because that would be lunacy. But imagine if they actually did. They actually face losing out, losing the division to either the Raiders, who beat them up in in um uh uh uh, uh in, in Arrowhead, or the Broncos, who actually lost to New England. And you know, Patriots fans aren't really happy with that win because that win moved them down to number two pick to number four. So yeah. But um, yeah, and it's it's just crazy. The receivers had the drop sees again. They also jumped offside, so it's not just Tony that's doing that. Um, we saw Mahomes screaming at his offensive line. It's a it's a mess. It's a train wreck, you know. Jordan Love really did break this team, you know. They really, Jordan he did. Jordan Love broke this team when he beat him on national television. Okay. So um yeah. They're in big trouble. We'll see we'll see if they get out of it, but they sh- they should. They have a history of getting out of they have a history of getting out of messes. Look last year they got rid of their best receiver and won a Super Bowl still. So if anyone can get out of a jam, it's Mahomes and company. But we'll see what the next two weeks give us. What the final two weeks give us. Speaking of Speed of, um oh, I have to mention the Browns. Amari Cooper, almost 300 yards receiving. He set a franchise record. That's amazing. Thank God I never had to play against him on fantasy because it's playoff time. But, oh yeah, speed of fantasy. Thanks to Brock Purdy being incompetent, Debo Harker got the ball. And thanks to that, I actually lost a semifinal. Thanks, Brock. Boy, do you suck. But, um, anyway, th- uh, by the way, I didn't have Brock Purdy in I didn't. I, I don't have Brock Purdy in my teams, which is why all of them made the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 sorry. He's sorry. He is. But week seventeen starts with the final Thursday game of the season between the Jets and the Browns. If the Browns win, they're in, and they have all different ways to get in. But that's another story for another video. Um, the Lions and Cowboys play on Saturday. That's the one Saturday game. It's on. It's part of the Monday Night Football package, but it's on Saturday because there's no Monday Night Football for the rest of the year. Uh, and as for some of Sunday's games, a big one between the Ravens and Dolphins with the number one seed up for grabs. Uh, the winner, well, if the Ravens win, they get it. If the Dolphins win, they'll get it next week with a win. Uh, Raiders are in Indy. Houston, Houston's hosting Tennessee. The Rams are in New Jersey to face the Giants. Sunday Night Football, which will end Week 17, is Packers-Vikings. Very important game. So that's my recap of Week 16. If you like this video, click the like button. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. What more? If you're on TikTok, hit that follow button. Uh, my stories will be featured. So check them out when you can. And I'll be back. I'll be back as soon as humanly possible to get you uh, ready for the for the final two weeks with the playoff picture and the scenarios. There are a lot of them. So stay tuned.